What's up everybody, Alvaro here from Alvaro Barrios Digital and I am back with part two of my reaction to someone else's ads. Now, if you have not had the opportunity to check out my previous video, I highly encourage you to do so. It was just my previous post. I'll even link it down below for your convenience, but it was a very both fun and educational video. I reacted to ads from Russell Brunson and Screw the 9 to 5 and I gave a full breakdown on my thoughts, both the good and the bad. But in that video, I purely Really focused on the ad copy. I did also want to cover the videos, but the video was just getting too long, right? It was already just 13 minutes, me only covering the ad copy. I didn't want to make a 20 minute video altogether. So just to make it a little bit easier and more digestible for you, I decided to split it into two parts. So this is the second part. I'm going to be looking at the same ads as last week, but again, I'm going to be focusing on the videos this time around, and I will give you my thoughts on each and every single one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so here we are. Since we started off with Russell's ad last week, we will do the same this week. I'm just gonna play the video uninterrupted. That way we can all watch it together and then I will give you my feedback right afterwards. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one right here. Expert Secrets is the underground playbook. It's got vital information to help you find your voice, build a tribe and change the world. And it really works. Now, I know what you may be thinking, Russell, I'm not as cool as you. I don't know how to start a movement. I'm not an expert. First of all, thank you. Second off, you're awesome. And you actually do have the potential to help other people do great things. And this book, Expert Secrets, will show you how to do it by leveraging what you're already interested in. Click on the link below right now to order your free copy today. Okay, cool. So overall, I do like the video much more than I like the ad copy. If you remember from last week's video, I actually do not like the ad copy in any way, shape, or form. I think the video, though, does a much better job. A couple things I do like about it. One, he's doing this whole thing where he's, you know, hanging from these uh, cords, like he's doing some sort of stunt movie or something like that. And that does help capture your attention, stop the scroll, so to speak, because you are curious. Like, okay, why is this guy hanging from these cords? What is he talking about? So it's just a good way to capture your attention as you're scrolling through the newsfeed. So I, I do like that here. I do like the fact that um, he also provides captions. So I did mention this once in my video or one of my videos a very long time ago, and I don't remember the exact statistic at this point in time. So if you're going to fact check me, I, I may get this wrong, but it's something like 85% of all videos on Facebook and Instagram are watched on mute. And there's a very specific reason for that. And it's because think about when you're checking Facebook and Instagram, usually it's on your phone. And oftentimes when you're checking, you're in a public setting, right? You're either at work, maybe on your lunch break, or you're at home with family and friends, you're outside at a restaurant or a bar or whatever that may be. And you just don't want there to be loud noise coming from your phone while you are watching some videos. So again, it's like roughly 80 to 85%, I think of all videos are watched on mute. So it's absolutely critical and pivotal for you to always provide captions on all your videos. If you're going to not provide captions, most people are just gonna be tuning out what you're saying. I can just tell you that straight up right now. So I do like the fact that he is providing um, some captions right there. And then in terms of the video itself, I do love the fact that he, right here, uh, where it says expert, he starts addressing an objective. It's very smart and recommended by me to always cover objections in your ads because there's always gonna be some. And so the objection here is like, well, but Russell, okay, I'm not, I'm not super famous, I'm not super popular. And so he addresses that right off the bat, acknowledges the fact that that is an objection that his target audience is going to have. And he says, first of all, thank you for asking that question because it is a good question or comment, I should say. And then he also then says, you're awesome, right? So he just kind of like reassuring you, hey, no matter what, no matter what level you're at, you're a beginner or you've got a seven figure business already, you are awesome wherever you're at inside of your entrepreneurial journey, which is important because the entrepreneurial journey is full of ups and downs. So it's just a nice little reassurance from someone who is you know, very well respected in the industry. The things I don't like about the video though, is that just like the ad copy, it only focuses on the fact that the book is free, which it is, but you still do have to pay for shipping and handling. And so you again, I don't, I don't remember what he's charging for shipping and handling. Usually that's somewhere between like $7 or $9 and stuff like that. So it's not a completely free transaction. So if you're not aware of that, either from the ad copy or from the video itself, you're probably going to get a lot of unqualified clicks on your ad. People thinking that is 100% free, but then when they they realize that you have to pay shipping and handling, and then they're just gonna leave from there. It's gonna increase your bounce rate, decrease your conversion rate, which you know you don't want either one of those scenarios. So I do think he should be addressing that 
both in the ad copy and in the video itself. And then also he does still doesn't make it super, super clear who his target audience is. Or again, I know who his target audience is because he's a very famous entrepreneur in the marketing world. But you know, if you're not already familiar with his brand, if you've never come across Russell Brunson and you see this, you're not exactly sure who he's talking to because he says experts. Okay, but am I, you can be an expert and not be an entrepreneur. And I know for a fact that he's going after entrepreneurs and stuff like that. And what types of entrepreneurs entrepreneurs and stuff like that you know are they is it a mom and pop shop or is it an online business or is it everything in between right he's not making that super super clear and i do think he should be doing that in his ad so overall i think it's a decent video um, it's got things that work well for it it's got other things that don't work too well for it so you know take away you know <laughs> the good and uh, certainly ignore the bad so with that now let's go ahead and take a look at the one from scoot nine and five boom what I just had 200 people on my webinar. Nice. How many of them joined your course? Probably all of them. But I'll just double check and see. I wanted to save this moment for you because I want to celebrate together. You know, This is showing one person. It's probably a problem with this. Um, that's okay. You just finished. Who was it? The Josh Stett. This was my test purchase. So I actually had no one, had no one buy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just had another one. Here we go. Sales are starting to roll in. Woo -woo! All right, let's see who just joined. It was Helen Stanton. It was, it was my mom. <laughs> A lot of things that um, I like about this video. If you do recall, I really do like the ad copy a lot. Um, I thought it was almost perfect. You know, I thought it could uh, use a little bit more on the benefit side of things. And it's the same thing with this video. I think this video is almost perfect. So let's start with what I do like about it. I love the way it starts. It's just like him going, boom, celebrating all excited. So again, that's gonna probably capture your attention because you see this guy that's like all super pumped up for something. And so you wanna know what exactly he's so excited about. So it's gonna, you know, give you the desire to watch that video so great way to start off the video then just that whole scenario i love it because i know it's a real life scenario where you're celebrating the fact that you have all these people that attended your webinar and you're like okay cool now the sales are just going to start rolling in and you know you check you check and there's no purchases and then you're like oh maybe there is one purchase but you realize it was just the test purchase that you did to make sure that everything was functioning correctly that is a real life scenario for sure that i've heard from many people, either in person or online. So very funny that they're playing into that. And then I love the fact that, you know, he has the, like that little dip in excitement and then he gets super excited again because another purchase comes through. And then his wife, Jill, like all dancing in the background. Again, just adding to the humor. And then they realize that it's actually his mom that purchased. So in the end, he didn't really get any actual purchases, right? Because one was a test purchase, one was from his mom. None of the real attendees, cold traffic attendees, let's call them, actually ended up purchasing. And so again, this is an extremely common scenario for a lot of entrepreneurs that have run webinars and they didn't work in the past. So the fact that they're leaning into that, um, I think is really smart. And I'm sure this ad is performing extremely well for them and uh, matches well with the ad copy too. And then towards the end, right, they have uh, some text overlays here. Let's go here. So webinar not converting again that just is a signal to who this ad is relevant to right so if you have run webinars and they're not converting then you know you need, you need to be paying attention to this ad then need something better of course right everyone wants something better if something's not working so that's a good uh transition right there and then click to learn more right so you, they've piqued your curiosity now, just like with the ad copy, I mentioned one thing that I did not like too much about the ad copy is that they're actually not giving you enough introduction to the solution itself. I think they need to sprinkle that in there just a little bit. Obviously, you don't want to give away all the secret sauce in the ad copy in the video itself, but enough to pique someone's interest even further. And then the other thing I don't like about this video is that they're not using captions. So everything I just said about, you know, how important it is to be using captions, as you can see here, they are not using them and probably the vast majority of people aren't seeing this really, really funny dialogue, you know, between Josh and Jill. And it's a fantastic dialogue. And it's kind of sad that they put together this really fantastic video, but you know, probably 80 to 85% of the people who are coming across it, they actually have no idea what they're saying or anything like that. 
like that. Luckily, they have very strong ad copy to go along with the video. But um, again, it's just a little unfortunate that they didn't end up adding captions right there. But other than that, I think it's a fantastic video. They're hitting the nail the head on real life situations, real pain points and added humor. I said in last week's video, humor is fantastic. Whenever you can use it in a fun and educational way, if it's just purely fun, then you're not really accomplishing anything. But if you can do it in a fun and educational way, uh, you know, showing people, giving them that aha moment, so to speak, then it's going to work out really well for you. So those are my thoughts on both of the videos. So overall, I do like both of them. I think this one right here is better overall, still lacking some, but uh, you can see how you can take this information and apply it to your own business. Okay, and there you have it. I hope just like last week's video, you also found this one to be fun interesting and educational. And if you are curious about how I and my team always look at ads and break down ads, and if you are curious about working with me and my team, head on over to alvarobarrios.com forward slash FB help. There you'll fill out a brief form so I can learn a little bit more about your business and your specific goals. Then we'll hop on a Zoom call and we'll figure out what solution is best for you. I have custom solutions based upon your specific situation. So I will drop that in the link below. And thank you for watching this week. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It really helps push this video out to the YouTube algorithm. That way more people just like you can watch this information and benefit from it just like you have. And if you have any other topics you'd like for me to cover, definitely just let me know in the comments below. The most popular and requested topics I get, I turn into videos just like this one. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any valuable content that I put out on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it.